In this video, we are going to create this chatbot that is going to use DeepSeek API. And to create it, we are going to use Next.js 15, ShedCN, Chatbot Kit Library, and Vercel SDK. As always, you have this code available on a public GitHub repository and you have it in the description below. And I'm kindly asking you to like this video to help me create more awesome content like this. And let's start coding! We have here a fresh copy of Next.js and first thing that we are going to do is to create the front-end part of the application. So for that we are going to use ShedCN and this chatbot kit library, which is really awesome. You can create chatbots like this. So here we are clicking get started and we are going to use this chat component. So here we have some predefined prompts and we can ask AI whatever we want. So we have everything we need, just the basic stuff. And we are just going to run this npx shedcn latest add command like this. And this one is going to install shedcn directly for us. So we don't need to do anything before this. So we are creating components.json file. We are going to use stone. Yes, we are going to use CSS variables and we are going to force some of the React 19 components that are complaining here and this one should be now ready voila so here we have chat component button auto scroll chat message etc so everything we need that we can just now take this component from here so we are going to the basic usage and we are just going to copy paste the entire thing that they have for this component here so i'm just taking this code and I'm going to call it just like that. I think, yeah, it's a chat demo. So here we are going to create a new component inside the components directory. We are going to call it chat demo.tsx. And here I'm pasting the entire chat component. And now we can just put this one on our page. I'm going to remove all these uh, default stuff from Next.js and I'm just going to put in the chat demo. So let's see why is it complaining. Yeah, we need to put the brackets. Okay, and let's see what do we have. We need to use probably, yeah, we need to install the AI dependency. So we are going to add pm pm add AI. And now we are installing the AI dependency that we were missing. There it is. Okay, so we can now refresh. We need to rerun our project, pmpm dev, and now everything should work. Let's see. Refreshing the page, localhost, port 3000. Here it is. Awesome. So it's working. We just need to style it up a little bit. Here I'm going to put main, and we are going to put some flex, minimum height screen, flex call, item center, justify center. Looks good. Let's see. Okay, we just need to put some maximum width let's say to be 2xl maybe like this nice so now we have the basic concept for chatbot we could just add maybe a little bit of some border so here i'm going to type in border rounded md and padding of four so let's see how is it looking Okay, we need to move it inside some div here, like this. Yes, exactly like that, I think. Nice, okay. I am satisfied with the front end, so let's now implement DeepSeek API. So now currently, if we open here our console and if we try to call something, so something, and we send the request, we are getting here that we don't have our API slash chat route. So we need to create that one. To create it, we are going to use Vercel SDK and they already created the connection with DeepSeek. So that's how popular it is these days. And it is really easy. So everything we need to do is to install this dependency, AI SDK, DeepSeek and we are just going to add it here. So pmpm pm add and then AI SDK DeepSeek. 
And other thing that we need is to actually obtain our API key. So I already have this one. I'm going to leave this link in the comment below so you can take it also if you want to try this one out. And now we can just take and use the SDK like this to get our prompt and then from our prompt to get the response. So we have here an example and here it is. This is exactly what, what we need. So when ShedCN chatbot kit, when they created this chatbot kit, they were using actually these like examples from Vercel SDK. So we can just copy this entire chat route and we are going to add it inside of our project. So here I'm opening a new directory, calling it API. Inside the API, I'm creating chat directory and inside the chat, I'm creating route.ts. And there I'm just going to paste in the exactly the same code like from Vercel SDK. So no need to like code anything. We are just copy pasting. And the final thing we need to do is to create the env file. So we are creating it here in our root directory env. And inside we are going to put deepseek API key. So by default SDK is looking at this environment variable. You cannot call it like API deepseek key. It needs to be like this. And now I'm going to paste my API key, you're not going to see it. And uh, just one word of caution, don't use your open AI API key, it is not safe to send your other API key. So it's not working with open AI, I copied the API key. And now we can test it out. Let's see if it works. I'm going to click this generate a tasty vegan lasagna recipe. And let's see if we are going Yes, we have the response. Nice. So here we're getting, here's the delicious vegan lasagna recipe that serves three people for the tomato sauce, for the tofu ricotta, additional ingredients. Then we have prepared the tomato sauce. Oh, it, it's, there is like a lot of text in just one result. Okay. With just one prompt. So it is definitely working. Awesome. It is really easy to use AI these days. I hope you like the video for more content like this, subscribe. And you also have the invitation for the discord channel in the description below come and sit by a fire i'm almost always online and there are 200 plus people so we are answering on all possible questions about next.js ai etc